Hi guys, welcome back to Stagiaire. Today we have a special guest here with us, Annalisa, and she's going to tell us about her experience in the UK. So Annalisa, can you tell us about your experience? What did you do? What did you study? And why you decided to go to the UK? Hey Anita, thank you very much uh, for hosting me today. I am Annalisa and I am a pharmacist. I come from Rome. I graduated in Rome, in the University of La Sapienza in 2013 with an experimental dissertation. This uh, dissertation gave me the opportunity to apply for um, an internship program abroad, European uh, program, the Leonardo uh, Unifarma graduates. And I won uh, the, this uh, competition, I won a fellowship and I went abroad um, in uh, Liverpool in UK to, stud to, um, to start my uh, internship there in a global company. Um, this, um, this uh, internship was in research and development in a global company and um, it was uh, an amazing experience uh, for me uh, from my professional point of view and uh, from um, for my personal uh, for the, the personal point of view um, from my professional point of view it gave me um, an, an opportunity to improve my English, to improve uh, my skills in uh, the field of expertise of uh, uh, pharma and cosmetics. And um, from my personal point of view, I met a lot of uh, friends uh, that came from different countries, uh, um, different, with uh, different backgrounds from mine. So it was uh, very precious for me, this opportunity. Uh, and um, after this opportunity that lasted six months uh, in UK, in Liverpool, um, I, it was very clear in my mind, my next step. So uh, to go back to Italy and start to work in a company, in a global company uh, in the pharmaceutical field. So um, it was a very great experience. Um, so your experience was amazing. So why did you decide to go to the UK? So I decided to go abroad because I'm a very curious person. So I was curious about living abroad alone and working in a global company and start from scratch. So I went there uh, and I also wanted to challenge myself. Uh, so um, I'm sure that when you went to the UK, you had some difficulties as well because uh, most of the people that goes abroad, I mean, the experience yeah. is it's amazing, but many times you have some difficulties. So which one did you encounter? See, so you, there was anything that was difficult there to live? Yes, yes. First thing first, uh, find a house, a place where to live. Uh, it's very difficult because you need to deal with agencies and uh, you need to um, uh, start uh, with them um, alone to find a place. You need to know uh, how your budget uh, and you need to find a clean house that is very difficult abroad. So uh, it's better to go there and to see the place uh, when you are uh, looking for uh, a place. Uh, so this was uh, difficult for me and um, also the language. So speaking English, uh, uh, it's, diff it's different from when you are at school, uh, speaking English uh, um, and when you go abroad. So um, I started a course of English uh, because uh, it, it was uh, important. <laughs> So it's not. So you're saying that it's not so easy to move abroad without uh, some connection there, right? Because you have to. I, I imagine that you have to open your own bank account. You have to find your own house. Mm -mm. You have to arrange uh, some kinds of document documents as well. Or yeah. maybe you have to open your national insurance number to start working there. You have to deal with your everything that means moving in another country. Correct. That's what you're saying. Yes. <laughs> so, so, so what did yes. what did you do? So, um, when I, I went there, 
I had um, some connections uh, of the people that was uh, doing the, the internship before me. So I asked them and uh, um, I had to open my bank account and it, it was difficult if you don't have uh, um, the contract of employment, uh, of stage, and if you don't have a house. So everything is linked. <laughs> and it's connected. It's connected. Yes. <laughs> so I didn't, so I didn't you, you're where... missing one part and then <laughs> to do something, then you have to have like a, another part basically. So everything yeah. needs to go together. Okay. At the end, so it was a really good experience for you. That's why you decided to come back to the UK and, and go to Oxford. Can you tell us a little bit more about your experience in Oxford right now? Yes, I decided to go there because I wanted to specialize in the field of expertise I'm working on now. And um, also I, I want to uh, challenge myself again uh, to go there because uh, the uh, work is very organized, well organized. And um, so now I am uh, I'm living in Oxford and working there. So what do you do there? Do you work for a company, another company, or the same company where you worked for in Liverpool? Or how does it work? No, no, another company, another company. <laughs> so three tips from you to our interns that would like to apply for an internship abroad. Why do you think they should do it? Yes, um, I think uh, you need to make the most of this internship. I think you should apply because uh, um, at the beginning it gives you a lot of opportunities and uh, it opens your mind uh, to other opportunities that maybe you now, you can't see now, but maybe uh, they, it, they will be your future. And then um, it's very important to um, the networking. So when you are there uh, doing the internship, uh, the networking is uh, very important. And um, another tip that I would like to, to share, it's uh, obviously to, um, for me it was English, so to do an English course. Uh, now, for example, I'm attending an imitation course to learn English. So um, it's very helpful to speed up your um, learning of English uh, from uh, the beginning. That's very interesting. So can you tell us a little bit more about your daily routine at work? So how does it work? You, what time do you wake up? Uh, what time do you go to work? And what time do you finish work? So just tell us a little bit more about your daily routine. Okay, so I live uh, in Oxford and it's a small town near London. So since it's a small town, I can go to work by bike. So I woke up at eight, I have my breakfast and I take my bike and I go to work. It takes 15 minutes to go there and uh, I spend my day um, at work um, doing my job, that is quality assurance on pharmaceutical products. And um, then uh, when I finish my work, uh, it's always daylight because now it's summer and uh, uh, the weather is good <laughs> in UK. <laughs> so I take my bike and I go back home. Uh, then uh, I try uh, twice a week to go for jogging. So to exercise, um, at Oxford is full of people that go jogging uh, or run or exercise a lot. So I try to, um, to be healthy. <laughs> so um, how did your internship help you to get a, your, your current job? I mean, when did you came back to Italy as well? The, rec the Italian recruiters, but also the UK recruiters were interested about your experience abroad. And do you think that this helped you to get a job easily? Yes, uh, I think it definitely helped me because the recruiters were, were very curious about my 
the curriculum, my experience abroad, they were always um, asking me questions about my experience, how I faced some issues, some problems that I encountered during my internship, and how I managed to resolve um, this, uh, this problem. So um, it was very um, helpful, it was very nice to share my experience with, the, with them. So, do you think that you have, you had a better chance, let's say, to get a job because of your internship abroad? Yes, I definitely think that uh, my curriculum was very interesting for them and uh, it helped me to distinguish myself uh, from the other uh, applicants. Okay, so thank you so much guys for watching this video and thank you so much Annalisa for giving us all these precious information. Uh, so if you would like to ask any questions to her, that you can just leave a message down below in the video section, uh, well in the message section. And thank you so much and see you in the next video. Bye! Bye!